Hello and welcome, this is Bulldog Gaming and this short video is about integrating OpenAI ChatGPT to Unreal Engine 5. Now there is a few steps that I'm going to show you quickly. Um, the first step you need to do is create yourself an OpenAI an account, but you need to create a platform account. So you need to go to the website platform.openai.com slash account. Once you've opened that, you will be able to get yourself an API key. Now, once you've signed in, click create a new secret key and copy this key. You need to copy this key here. Okay. Save it somewhere in a notepad or something on your computer because we're going to be using it very shortly. The next thing we need to do is go to this website here. Now, I will link the website in the description below, but you can create, you can decide which version of Unreal Engine you want to create this plugin in. So um, you can got 4.26, 4.27, 5 or 5.1. Um, download 5, open AR5, it will show you in a folder here. Once you open that, it will open up this and you will be able to extract it. And this folder here, you want to add into your game folder. So, to find your game folder, go to Epic Game Launcher, go to Library, and the one that you want to find the game for, you right click, Show in Folder, it will open your upper folder, and here it is. You then, once you've done this, you then need to create if you have not got one a plugins folder create that plugins folder and put that open AI that you've downloaded into this plugin once that's completed you need to open up your project now let me quickly go to my map this is a previous uh, this is a tutorial that I'm working on. It's not live yet, but this is literally I just needed a project to add this to and this is what I did um, So the first thing I did was open an open AI Okay, I created a blueprint actor so I right click blueprint actor and I called it BP underscore open AI the next thing I did was go up to edit plugins then search open AI and you should see the new plugin here make sure it's enabled with this tick and you're all ready to go once now what we want to do we want to open up this open AI okay and this is what we're gonna need to write so we're gonna need to create a custom event and then pull off this custom event and set open API key if you have that plugin installed you will have this node once you once you connected this node you need to put that API key here the one that I told you to save once you've done that pull off this and create another node open AI called GPT free this is another node that comes within that plugin the engine I'm gonna use text DaVinci 002 but there is a quite a few so whatever one whatever one you prefer to use I don't know the difference between them but yeah what we're gonna do we're gonna pull off the prompt and connect it so you just literally pull off and connect it and add a node to this okay then off the settings we need to make a GPT free settings and it will give you all the information of when the API generates you an answer this is how it generates you the answer so the first start sequence is we're gonna input this I'm gonna put this in the description so just copy and paste it okay off the the inject start text is blank the inject restart text is blank for now off the stop sequence we want to pull off and make an array then off the array we want to promote to a variable and call this stop sequence and in the stop sequence we need human with a colon once you've done all this you then need off the success pin you need to pull off and create a branch connecting the execution pin to the finished and the execution pin of this node pull off the error message and print a string to the false pin of the branch okay then we want to go true 
of true for a four each loop and connect the completion to the array. Of the array element, we need to break the completion and then this will give you the text, this will give you the answer the AI is giving you. You want to pull this off into a string, a print string, and connect it to the loop body. I've added a duration to 20 seconds so you can you can read the answer. You can do you, this is fully customizable, but this is just literally to show you how to integrate chat GBT into Unreal Engine 5. Okay, the next thing we need to do is create if you haven't got one, create a HUD. Okay, and there's plenty of YouTube youtube videos online that shows you how to do this but if you're this far into an unreal engine project by uh, adding open ai to it um you should have a hud you should have this and that so i'm just going to quickly go to my hud so what i did was i grabbed a text and i asked it to ask me a question ask me a question okay and then i created a text oh. Then I created a text editable text and put it here, change the background to white and the font to 20. The well, background to black and the font to 20. Clicked it as a variable. Okay, and then I created a button, clicked it as a variable. So the first step now is to click back on your box, scroll down to the bottom. You've got an event on text change. You want to create this event. Now this will give you a text. So whatever's entered in that box, you now want to store that information. So just right click and promote to variable and call it questioned asked. Go back to the designer and click on the button and scroll down and on clicked, you want to view. You want to create an on click button. So now you have the question asked, you now need to ask OpenAI. Okay? So what, where you need to add this node is in your third person character. So if we quickly go to game, blueprints, third person character, we wanna add this node down here. So you wanna create a variable and ask OpenAI as a string and then save that. Back to the inventory widget, we wanna get a cast to the third person character. If you don't know how to do that, you literally enter this into here on the event construct okay and you get a cast to your third person character but like i said if you're this far into adding open ai into an unreal engine project you should have a, you should know how to cast but if you don't that's how you do it so we're going to grab our third person character and pull off and ask open ai you want to set it then get the question asked which is down here which is the variable you just created here and when you connect these two together from a name to a string it will give you a, a conversion okay and that's what we need to do so we're going to compile and save that for the moment and go to the third person character we then want to create a custom event called get question from player okay get actor or class and that's going to be the bp open ai which is this one we just created and we're going to search for this custom event so we're going to pull off out of the return value asked ai 101 which is this event Okay, and then the question that it's asking us, because obviously we've put it, connected it here, is going to be this question that we're storing here. Okay, so we're going to connect that up to there. Compile, save. One last thing, back to the inventory widget, we want to pull off the third person character and get question from player, which is this custom event that we've created here. Compile, save, play. Oh. Summed it up on a different thing. Now we can ask this any question we want. So, is the world flat? For example, it's going to connect to the server, hello, and AI is going to return back, no, the world is not flat. What shape is the world? AI returns back, the world is round. Okay? How many people live in our world? The population is about 7.6 billion. You can ask this anything you want. Is aliens real? 
I'm sorry, I can't answer that question. Okay, so you can implement this into whatever way you want. Um, into this, for example, you can you can create this as an NPC in your character. Um, you can, if you are my building a history game, it will know everything about history. You can just ask it any question you want about history. A puzzle game, you need to know them history facts. You can ask questions. Blah 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 blah. But like I said, this is Bulldog Gaming. Thank you for watching my video. If you did like, if you did enjoy this, hit that like button. If you want to see more, subscribe and hit that bell icon too. The channel is growing and I thank every single one of you for taking your time to watch me. This is Bulldog Games and I'm out.